The first half of the exhibition is self-paced with many interactive exhibits. The second half is made up of a series of shows where you view a show and then move on to the next room. A group is led into the showroom every 15 minutes or so, and when you buy your ticket, it'll be for a specific time slot. It's recommended to arrive about 5 to 10 minutes before your time slot. Welcome to Jurassic World! It's a dinosaur. Uh -huh. Just after walking through the gates near the Brontosaurus, they have binoculars where if you look inside, you can see seven different types of dinosaurs. By the Brontosaurus, there are plenty of places to take great pictures, but I'd recommend walking up the stairs onto the platform that's just across from the Brontosaurus. From here, you'll have a great view from above the crowd. Here, you'll learn about the Brontosaurus and how its long neck was adapted specifically for its herbivorous lifestyle. Throughout the exhibit, you'll see these displays that describe ancient plant and animal life. This plaque shows how all of the Earth's continents were once joined together as a supercontinent called Pangaea, breaking apart nearly 200 million years ago, ultimately leading to what it is today. You can have your picture taken at the QR stations, and also the attendants are happy to take pictures for you or answer your questions. The Hammond Creation Labs is a really interesting hands-on section here at the exhibition. You'll get to see many different specimens of mosquitoes preserved in amber, view information about how DNA can be manipulated, and see the newest members to the Jurassic World family up close. You'll see the technology they use to monitor and incubate the dinosaur eggs, and you'll have a chance to touch omnivore, herbivore, and carnivore poop for scientific purposes, of course. And keep an eye out for the scientists who will walk around and give you a chance to pet the baby Parasaurolophus. Exiting the research center, you now enter the raptor enclosure. This is the last portion of the self-paced exhibits. The remainder of the exhibition are a few different shows that can only fit a certain amount of people in the room at a time. The next room is a caged enclosure where a trainer talks about velociraptors. Velociraptors, or raptors, are part of the Dromaeosauridae family. Today, you will get a rare behind-the-scenes encounter. And now, I'd like for you to meet Blue! I ain't the sharpest tool in my shed. Steady, Blue. Steady. All right. Moving to your right, my left. We're good. Now, go! Exiting the raptor demonstration, next you'll find a fossil digging station. Using the brush to clear the sand, you'll find fossilized leaves, sea life, and even teeth. Please only pet her on the top of her head. That's your safe space. Mama, mama. Next, you enter the viewing paddock for the Indominus Rex, which is a fictitious predator created at Jurassic World, whose DNA is a mixture from the most dangerous dinosaur predators. And you feed it with that? Is there a problem? Animals raised in isolation aren't always the most functional. What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab? Continuing to the next room, this is a great photo opportunity where you can take a picture inside one of the Jurassic World pods. There's an attendant there who's pretty much an expert taking pictures with any mobile phone. So feel free to wait in line and take a picture in the pod. My name is Trainer Vincent and that's Trainer Jordy over there. What's going on right now is that we call this an acid out of containment. Does anyone know what acid out of containment means? Yes! I love that! Basically, there's a dinosaur on the loose. Uh, word has it that it's pretty much bump. I think it was Bumpy. Uh, who's all seen Bumpy today? Yeah. Nice, okay. So, 
pretty much Bumpy might have triggered the alarm system. Bumpy gets really hungry, so she just starts. Oh, okay, why is there ominous music playing? It's not Bumpy. It's not? No, it's not Bumpy. Are you sure it's not a big Bumpy? No, it's a T Rex. Oh, I should have said that out loud. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Okay, um, uh, it's weird because uh, there's like T Rex logos everywhere. Uh, let's start with the gate code, please. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not turn around. On the way out is a gift shop where you can pick up everything from plush toys to shirts, clothing, games, toys, mugs, and you can also buy the pictures from the QR stations if you'd like. Everyone jokes around that this is the most dangerous part of the Jurassic World exhibition. The prices are a little bit high, but you could also find these products online. Altogether, this was a really fun experience. The original Jurassic Park movie was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. I wish there was stuff like this when we were younger. This is perfect for kids about 5 to 17 years old, but if you're older, it's still a lot of fun. If you enjoy the movies and it's within your budget, I definitely recommend visiting. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and maybe share it with someone. That's one of the best ways to support this channel. Let us know your favorite Jurassic Park character in the comments below. And for more tours like this, subscribe. Now click this video here to continue the adventure.